This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2639. I'm your host, Jeff Alton, the Big Game Runner, and welcome. Before I start telling you about the show, I just want to remind those of you who might be a CFO or CEO about the upcoming C-Suite Caucus event in late June. C-Suite Caucus is a, a, an event I'm co-hosting with Steve Robbins, and it is on, I just want to make sure I have this right, June 27th at noon Eastern. And this one will have a guest, Alex, Alec Hudnut, who's a three-time CEO, managing director of VC Partners, and he's involved with Earnings Enhancement Consulting. He's a Harvard Business School grad, uh, as is Stever, by the way. Yes, that is Stever with the Steve with an R at the end of it. And this, the event is focused on uh, AI and AI for CFOs. Um, and I just want to encourage you, if you are in the C-suite, this might be an event to attend. So go to C-suite caucus, enroll. And if you miss it, you'll get a copy of the video afterwards and be able to watch it later. But in the meantime, sign up for it. Again, June 27, 2023 at noon Eastern. And you can do the math from there as to what it is in your time zone. And today's show is one where we're going to look at counteroffers uh, because counteroffers are generally dismissed in the recruiting field, but I think they're important for people to actually consider. And I started to realize that while I still did recruiting, and there were times I told people, take the counter. I'm going to lose money on this, but you're right, take the counter. And I'm just going to encourage you, listen to the show. I think you'll find it helpful. And we'll be back in just one moment. Recruiters spend a lot of time telling people why they should not accept the counter offer. I'm going to give the opposing viewpoint, reasons to consider accepting a counter offer. I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. People hire me for no BS coaching and career advice globally, and that can relate to job search, hiring more effectively, managing and leading better, dealing with workplace issues or career transitions, because I make things easier for people. And I want to say I worked in recruiting for a long time, and I used to, to support the narrative about not taking a counter offer. I also was honest, and I would say things like, you know, they may give you a big increase in your pay. And since that was the primary reason why you were looking, maybe it makes sense to stay. And I'd be disappointed, but getting a significant pay increase can be a reason to stay. I also have to tell you that at the beginning of your search, hopefully you wrote down why it is you want to look for something else. And thus the second reason is they've addressed all your concerns. That annoying boss you're able to get a transfer from, that maintenance work that you were doing, the same repetitive tasks, they're going to move you away from that, and they're going to do it in the next two weeks. All those concerns that you had that were bothering you, they've resolved, and that becomes a reason to stay, assuming that the other firms is not even better. But I digress. The third reason is maybe it includes a promotion or a new title with increased responsibilities, or maybe a change to the work environment that you are unhappy with. Maybe you get a transfer to a new office, or they give you additional training or development opportunities, or maybe a flexible work schedule, which you know, for a lot of people is very important. Maybe you don't want to lose the attachment that you have to your coworkers or the firm, and you don't want to deal with the uncertainty of a new situation because all along you've kind of liked the, the current one, and it's hard for you to leave because you have an attachment to your boss, the coworkers, the firm, and you know I can understand why that might be a reason to stay. You may not actually have a solid offer yet from the new employer and you want to have a stable job, but by a not solid offer, it's made contingent upon fill in the blank, and there's no guarantee that you'll get it, so don't leave under those circumstances. Say you've been approached by a firm that wants to hire you, 
and uh, they're talking about this amount of money, I'd really rather stay, etc. The last reason I'm going to bring up is you may not be aware of some of the issues at the new firm, some of the bad press that they have, or the bad reputation that they have. And under those circumstances, the confusion may lead you to want to stay because you're in a situation that you know, like, trust, and respect, and they're going to solve your problems, and the new firm has a rep of being a meat grinder or being mean to people or whatever. So those are some reasons to stay. I'm not encouraging you to stay. These are your choices. As an adult, you have to make decisions about what serves you, and thus, don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I hope you found this helpful. Again, I'm Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter, uh, and I, I want to encourage you. Visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. There's a ton on the blog to help you. Plus, you can schedule time for a free discovery call or coaching session. Find out about my video courses, books, and guides. Again, there's a lot at TheBigGameHunter.us, including a blog with thousands of searchable posts that can help you with those different categories I mentioned earlier. I also want to recommend that you connect with me or follow me on LinkedIn at LinkedIn.com forward slash IN forward slash TheBigGameHunter. My network tends to be a lot larger than most people, so connecting with me will allow you to get access to my network of people. And if this isn't the right time to go to my website, I just want to remind you, put the address in your phone, thebiggamehunter.us, and in the notes field, put the phrase job search blog so you can find them in the future. I hope you have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great.